Hi y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jupiter James, where I awaken the astrologer within you. You know, I really do feel that before time of iPhones and iPads and TikTok and this and that, we were a culture and a society and a people that were better able to look up at the stars and interpret the languages of them. That way, we were able to use that knowledge to interpret our charts and understand exactly what the universe wanted from us. And it is with that knowledge that we were able to live a more abundant life and get to our dreams further, quicker, and stronger. And so I'm just here to innate, awaken that innate knowledge in you. That way, when you see these things out in the world, you are better able to interpret them and understand exactly what the universe wants from you. And so if that sounds good to you, let's get into it. Today, we're gonna get into Jupiter in the eighth house. Now, Jupiter in the eighth house is gonna give me someone that is almost like a magician, you know? This person is very, very magical and understands things that normally just don't. You know, you don't mess around with the muggles. But wait, before we get into that, let's go ahead and separate the aspects. And that way, when we see each individual aspects play out in the world, we're better able to recognize them when we see it on TV or when we see it out in the world or in our friends and our families, you know? That way, we can do more with the knowledge that we've been given, you know? Let's just not stop at Jupiter and 8. Let's take Jupiter and run with it let's take the eight health and run with it you know so Jupiter in the birth chart is always for me when I see it in a birth chart it's gonna indicate the the luck and the abundance and the expansion of the person it's gonna show me wherever Jupiter is placed and is pointing to it shows me that when this person does that thing doors open for this person. When this person does that thing, luck, abundance, and expansion, and the road ahead becomes clear for that person to grow and change and evolve and get more blessings, you know? they Like, luck and money and abundance come for them. It's the lucky placement. It's like the luck spot for the person. Um, it is. It also shows me a little bit like a talent, a gift that this person may have depending on where the placement is and what it's like, you know, uh, conjuncting and whatnot. But yeah, Jupiter is also gonna show me the teaching and preaching qualities of the person and the joy and the exuberance. So these are all positive things. Jupiter is a very po positive, positive planet. Nothing bad ever comes from Jupiter. Remember that. Every Only good things come from Jupiter. Only good things come. Now, so what about the eighth house? Now the eighth house, I like to call the very dark and taboo house. You know, it's it's the house that we don't talk about at dinner. It's the house that when we are around our moms and our dads, we, we don't talk about those things. You know, we don't talk about sex, debts, taxes, getting other people's money and transformation. We don't talk about that at the dinner table. You know, we, we keep things light. We keep things light. But this is what the eighth house is. It's subjects that we don't bring up at dinner. It's the it's the occult. It's magic. It's astrology. It's um, hidden underlying factors of the world. It's the undercurrent of the world. You know, like we're we're out when we see the sun, but what's behind the sun? What's the meaning of the sun? What what is who made the sun and why does the sun shine in the way that it does? Is there a um, is there a magical property behind that sun? That is what the eighth house is. It's not just taking things for surface value. The eighth house is the underlining factor of everything. And so, what do we get when we take, oh, and before we get into that, hold on. The eighth house is also always ruled by Scorpio and it's ruled by Mars and Pluto. And remember, Pluto is what? Pluto is that far away planet that no one ever really talks about. Like we all talk about Venus and Mars and Jupiter and the Earth, but even in science, people just go, oh, Pluto's out there somewhere, I don't know. And it's almost like when you see pictures of Pluto, it's this really dark dot, like, and it's very dark and eerie and mysterious. And so take that planet and apply that, that connotation to it. You know, if you think about Pluto, think about how dark and mysterious and just like almost eerie the planet Pluto is. And so it's ruling that house of the eighth house. So what happens when we take a positive planet like Jupiter and we put it in a very occult undercurrent house like the eighth house? What happens? This person is going to be a literal wizard. This person's, this person's Harry Potter. Hi, Harry. You're, you're a wizard, Harry. Hi. Nice, nice. Are you ready to go to Hogwarts? Hello. This person is going to be very adept, very um, 
very, very skilled at knowing what other people want. They're going to know the intentions of other people. They are going to be a little psychic. They're going to be very good at astrology. They're going to be very good at tarot cards. This person is going to be very, very good at all of those taboo subjects. This person probably is going to go through a lot of transformations in their life because this is the life of someone who is meant to understand the undercurrents of life. And it is through those transformations that this person becomes wiser and stronger and even more powerful. It is with the transformations that this person like just understands. This person's gonna understand, and I don't mean books, and I don't mean math, and I don't mean science. I mean this person's going to understand it all. Like they are gonna just get it, you know? They're gonna be a natural born gifted mystic for real like and this person can probably teach and preach those things when this person practices astrology when this person practices mystical arts this person gets luck and abundance it will be by them doing these things and practicing these things and studying these things that they get more abundance in their life and it's very it's a very cool placement i mean where's your wand do you have a wand like hello <laughs> this could also mean if you have jupiter in the eighth house this could also mean if you have sag in the eighth house because remember um sag and pisces are ruled by jupiter so you don't just have to have the planet there you can have the sign that rules those planets and they will give these same qualities as well so um for the, my cross watchers out there who watch multiple things if you're a pisces and you have pisces in the eighth house congrats this applies to you if you have sag in the eighth house congrats this applies to you but for the others who have jupiter in the eighth house, I would say videos like this really help you by you being on YouTube, scurrying the internet for information regarding the occult and the planets and the cosmics and, and what this means and what that means, you become more expansive and you become more magical. You just become Harry Potter. You're like Hermione Granger. You are that, you are it, you are a mystic and you can't help but un want to ask why. You know, I really want you, the more you ask why, the more you dig deep and you dig for the meanings behind things, the more abundantly clear things become for you. So I really want you to always ask why. Don't ever just take things for what they are, ask why. Ask what the spiritual meaning behind this is or the spiritual meaning behind that is or what is the universe trying to tell me when that happened, what what is the universe wanting from me by this going wrong or by this even going right? Or always really have a very analytical eye and a very inquisitive outlook on your life. And it'll be by that that you witness the magic of your life and life in general, okay? so. And it'll be by that, that you become even more lucky and abundant. Like this is such a cool placement. Again, like you're gonna transform a lot in this life. So don't be scared of that. It'll be by your transformations that you just get even stronger and you get wiser and you get even more adept. You are a true, true, true mystic. And you are probably really good at getting other people's money. You will probably have a lot of debt. I will say that is that you will in this placement have a lot of debt. Um, hopefully you will find a way to pay it off but you will have a lot of debt you will be someone that gets money from others a lot you for some reason people help you or for some reason when things go wrong right before things go too wrong or things go too bad like you could be on your last piece of bread in the pantry right and right as you grab that bread you get a phone call Right as you grab that bread, something happens and someone sends you some money or a windfall of money somehow comes in the mail or something happens like where it's just you could have it could have gone bad. You could have gotten homeless. You could have ended up somewhere. But all of a sudden now everyone looks up and you're good. Now all of a sudden you look up and you've got a thousand dollars in your pocket. All, that and that, listen to me when I say this, that is you witnessing magic, okay? That is you witnessing what you are here to experience in this life, which is magic. You are here to witness this. You are, ugh, 
this is such a cool placement. I could literally do a 50 minute video on this placement because it's so magical and so cool. But yeah, that's Jupiter in the eighth house. You are going to be just a, a, a magical person. And the more you help others with your, I would really recommend you going into astrology. I would really recommend you going into um, Reiki or, or anything that has you influencing the mystical arts in a undercurrent sense like like massage therapy even or tai chi or meditation be someone that guides people through that and you will be someone that is a great transformer of others as well you have what it takes to i bet when you meet people you know exactly what they need you know exactly what they need and you know exactly what to do in a spiritual sense in order to get them from point A to point B. And it is by you doing that that you help others transform and you be a guiding vessel so that people can feel better in their own, in their own zhuzh, in their own mess, in their own stuff that they don't want to unpack. You can be a guide for people. So really investigate that and really get into that and see what you can do with that because you can be someone that's very transformative and a great transformer of people and of yourself because because you know what to do as far as shadow work and transforming yourself you are then able to help others and it is by you helping others that you get other people's money and it's by you getting other people's money that you are able to become more magical i don't know it's this is just a really cool placement i i'm really jealous of it it's really cool but that was my video if you guys have before before we go before you go write down if this is ringing true for you all right write down if this is true for you if this video was true for you or if this is spot on let me know because i just do my research and i'm just going off of what the books say and what you know my intuition is saying and so write down if this is ringing true for you and while you're doing that tell me what the sign is can you tell me what the sign of your jupiter in the eighth house is and then that would help me also i'll write back to you what you could experience with that okay but um that was my video i hope you gained some insight from that and continue to be your magical self all right don't hide it for anyone and yeah i love y'all y'all have a good one all right bye